Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is the second half of our Cupcake Wars. So if you haven't seen our Cupcake Wars uh, from Halloween, I will go ahead and post the link below and you can go ahead and check out our Cupcake Wars that we had for Halloween time. But we decided that we loved it and had so much fun that we're gonna go ahead and do a Christmas edition. So here is our Christmas edition of our Cupcake Wars. Um, I've joined up with a couple of the same um, YouTubers that we had last time. However, we've added a new um, person, Perfectly Cat. Uh, she loved the cupcake idea so much that she wanted to participate. So we're so happy to have her on board. And so let's get to my design. So as you can see, I've um, ham baked some homemade chocolate cupcakes and we are going to go ahead and decorate these cupcakes uh, holiday style. So uh, what you'll need for my cupcakes is you're going to need some Oreos, um, preferably the Oreo minis. Um, if you don't, you can get the Oreo thins or you can get regular plain Oreos. Um, there, it's just going to be bigger in scale. <laughs> um, you probably won't be able to get these. These are um, made, um, homemade, uh, designed Winnie the Pooh frostings. Um, so these will be definitely hard to get. Probably might be able to find them on Amazon. I'm not sure, but uh, these are something really cute that I wanted to add on to my cupcakes. Um, and so you're gonna need some icing. I went ahead and picked three colors, red, green, and white. And I also got these little cute um, holiday uh, little ornament balls. Um, and let me see, it's not open yet, but they're really, really cute. So I'll show you guys just a couple of them. They're really cute holiday colors. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we, we're gonna go ahead and use our piping bags. Um, I have uh, tip uh, 21. There's also uh, 224 if you don't have 20, tip 21. Um, and if you don't have any tips at all, you can always go to wilton.com and purchase uh, tips or you can also get them at your local craft supply um, place. So what we're going to do is the first cupcake, which is really simple and easy to do. Um, so you're going to go ahead and start off with just going around the cupcake and you're just going to fill it in and then you're going to go ahead and work your way up. To a tip and it makes almost like a little holiday tree and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle on some sprinkles and you end up making a holiday tree super simple super super easy not complicated at all pretty much anybody can do it <laughs> so the next one that we're gonna go ahead and do this is a little bit more like a more of a process so I'll go slow so that you can follow along. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and follow the edge, not all the way out, but kind of towards the edge. And you're gonna do the same thing, fill in the center. And then you're gonna build on that. Keep bringing it up, higher and higher. Some more frosting. And then once you get to the very top, you want to kind of put like a little couple bits right there on the top. All right. All right. So now that you have that done, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your white frosting with the same tip. I'm gonna hold this up kind of so that you guys can see. And you're gonna take the tip and you're just gonna go around the edge. 
just like that. And I would definitely suggest a buttercream frosting instead of just like the plain frosting you get in the cans or in the jars at the grocery store. That usually doesn't hold up as much and it doesn't taste as good. Buttercream is usually the best option. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And then with that little swoop that you made on the top, you're going to go ahead and put a big one right there. So it makes kind of like a Santa hat. But we're not done yet because this wouldn't be an epic cupcake unless it had some Disney magic on it. So what you're gonna do now, is you're gonna take two of those Oreos that you got and you're gonna go ahead and place them right there. And there you have a Mickey cupcake. On second thought guys, I like the bigger ones better than the minis. Trial and error. Cause I like my ears big. I like them prominent. I like them to stand out much, much better. So for the third and final cupcake, we are, let me move that aside. We're gonna do another kind of easy one. And what you're gonna do is just go around the cupcake and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just kind of make some swirls just going around the cupcake. Then you wanna go ahead and just place one of the little candy things on there. And then you're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sprinkles all around. And Maybe we'll add a cute little bow. And got yourself a little holiday wreath. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other wreaths. I'll show you guys the finished product when I'm done. All right, there you are everyone. This is the finished product. You've got some wreaths with the Disney characters. You've got a Christmas tree, um, which actually, I think I might put some little ears on my Christmas tree too. Let's add some Disney magic to that too. There you go. Um, and we've got our little Santas. So make sure that you like and subscribe and comment with a little um, Christmas tree emoji if uh, you like my video so um, the person with the most emojis um, is going to win and uh, this is a cute little fun uh, thing that we're doing uh, we're not having any kind of a giveaway or anything like we did last time this is just for fun um, I absolutely loved doing uh, the cupcake wars and I hope to do some more in the coming uh, year and I hope that you guys really enjoyed this and vote for me. Thanks so much for watching and have a happy holiday. Bye.